Well, my name is Dr. Joseph Koli Juguna. I work at uh, Karo HRI uh, at Thika. Uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, new variety we want to showcase, uh, we have developed uh, at the Institute, which was developed about uh, five to ten years ago. Uh, the idea was to address a major challenge uh, we are having of uh, apples not being very productive in this country. The old varieties are of very uh, poor quality and uh, to uh, meet the demand, uh, we have been forced to import from other countries like uh, South Africa and Egypt. And we felt there is need to uh, introduce new varieties that would be able to address that challenge. And farmers would also be able to earn some income uh, from, uh, from them. In challenge with the apple production in tropical conditions like in, here in Kenya is that um, if they are, they are of high chilling requirement, they produce very tiny fruits, they are very erratic, and the quality is not good. So you are trying to get a variety that would be able to uh, to produce even in areas which where chilling conditions are not uh, uh, available uh, and uh, uh, that would uh, even spread the production area uh, beyond the traditional area in high altitude areas. The issue with the production of uh, apples in uh, uh, cold areas is that uh, the quality is not very good because they mature at a cold condition and they are not able to have the adequate uh, heat unit uh, to make them sweet enough. But now with these varieties, because they can grow in uh, high altitude, medium altitude and low altitude areas, even where the chilling uh, requirement uh, is not so high, they will be able to accumulate uh, heat units and be able to uh, be sweet and as good as the uh, imported, uh, imported apples. In this material we got from California, we are still retaining uh, those uh, names. One of them is called Braiban, another one is called Fuji, and the third one is called uh, Gala. These are some of the varieties that uh, Carlo has worked on, uh, which were introduced about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, research was carried out at uh, HRI, the Dika. Uh, this one is called uh, Braiban. Uh, it is quite uh, big in size, red, uh, crunchy, stores very well for more than three weeks uh, in ambient uh, temperature. It can store much longer, up to six months uh, in a cold room. Uh, it is doing very well in the market. It's now at commercialization level. Uh, traders are preferring it uh, over the imported ones because of the size, uh, the shape, uh, and also the aspect of uh, crunchiness, which is a, a major consideration by, by consumers. Uh, this one uh, has been uh, uh, here for around three years. Uh, you can see already there is uh, heavy production. We expect optimum production in around five, five years. So it's a, there is a very high potential uh, the market is very receptive, uh, the price is very good. Uh, the aim is to reduce the amount uh, imported and we uh, replace that with the uh, locally produced uh, apples uh, because uh, farmers will be able to get some good income but uh, also the traders will be able to access these uh, 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 fruits very easily and even at a reasonable price. This variety is called uh, Fuji. Uh, the 
the texture of the skin is a little bit more smooth compared with the other, other varieties which were, uh, have been researched by Caro. Uh, the goodness with the Fuji is that it is very, very sweet. It's the sweetest, it is crunchy, uh, it doesn't grow very big, but uh, it is, has very good, uh, very good eating quality. Uh, uh, and the, the market is really looking for it. Uh, so we expect with the time, uh, together with the other varieties, um, it will be adopted by farmers and slowly we will be able now to supply market from the local production instead of uh, imported fruits. This variety, and again another one that was uh, introduced by Carro, is called Gala. It is, um, uh, it is variegated, uh, more than uh, the earlier one, Braeburn. The size is not as big as the Braeburn, but it is very sweet and crunchy. It has been found to adapt very well in uh, medium altitude and high altitude areas, uh, but also in fairly low altitude uh, zones. It's also, it's also doing quite well. Uh, the, the beauty with these varieties is, is that uh, they are as good as the imported ones. They are even bigger in size. They are crunchy, they are colored, the shape is good. And I think that's why the market has been uh, very positive. They have been deceived very well. And uh, we expect that to continue as we continue to upscale uh, production. With the research now, we are at a level of commercialization. There are already farmers who are producing uh, these varieties. And they are very happy uh, because uh, they can now get uh, some income uh, from them. Uh, from the market perspective, uh, traders are quite receptive because they can now get apples locally. Uh, at, a, at a, a good price and they are able to satisfy uh, the need of their, of their customers. Uh, we have actually developed uh, uh, agronomic uh, requirement for these varieties in terms of spacing, in terms of pruning, in terms of nutrition, which have led to improvement in terms of uh, productivity. For farmers who would like to optimize on production, uh, pruning is very crucial and this also determines when the apples are coming to production. Uh, uh, pruning is done after harvesting as a preparation for the next season. Uh, it is done by removing all the dead, uh, dead woods, dead stalks. Uh, those which, which are infected, they are all removed so that you have a clean plant. The other very important thing is to open the center to allow for, for air circulation. So any branch that is crisscrossing the center is removed. Then it's also important to look for spars which will produce fruits. This is a, they are normally sota, we call them they are sorta stems, uh, unlike these long ones. These are the ones that um, will give you a crop. So you have to spare them. Otherwise, if you remove them, you'll be left with the just vegetative suit which will never give you anything. So you can see these are the, the, the stock. So open up the tree, then cut it at the top. Let it not grow beyond uh, five meters, that's the maximum. Uh, that is necessary for ease of management, the spraying and all that. Pruning, we are using it as a way of determining when you are going to get a crop. So you can now time the market when you have market and you count backwards four months, then you prune. Once you have pruned with the, 
uh, technique which we have developed that is uh, recommended then after after two weeks after pruning uh, they produce new suits and they produce flowers after four and a half to five months you get a you get a crop so there is a possibility of getting two crops per year depending on when you prune and also to make sure that um, fruits are not beyond the reach of whoever would be harvesting. So once you have removed the, 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 the unnecessary stocks, you cut the top to maintain the height. Then the other thing to stimulate um, uh, production of a new crop, you need to do what we call uh, defoliation. Uh, in uh, very cold areas, defoliation can occur naturally, but in areas where it's not very cold, you may need to do hard defoliation. Hard defoliation just means once you have removed the unnecessary suit, then you remove um, all the leaves because these roots have inhibitory hormones which will not allow uh, new suits and flowers to, to come up. So the, to remove that inhibition, you have to remove them and you are left with bare, uh, bare stems. Uh, so when now you have done that, these bare stems will produce new suits and flowers at the same time. Thing for apples, the recommended spacing is actually four meters between the plants and uh, four meters between uh, the rows. So it's four by four. Uh, you can, uh, uh, if the soils are not very fertile, uh, that spacing can be reduced to three meters between the plants and the three meters between the plants. Uh, apples uh, do not have very many diseases, but there is one that uh, farmers would know about. Uh, this is called powdery mildew disease. Uh, uh, it comes uh, when the, it's humid, uh, during humid condition. Uh, it can cause uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, losses. But there are fungicides uh, available for control so farmers should not worry so much about the, the disease so long as they know it exists and they are able to identify the symptoms and they can apply appropriate fungicides. The other challenge which I, is not here is actually mites. Mites can also cause some losses because they suck a lot of sap from the crop. Uh, we have a suitable mite side. Um, available in the market and uh, once farmers have seen mites infestation they should apply uh, integrated pest management and that should be able to manage the pest. Those are the only major uh, challenges we have in terms of pests and diseases. Farmers who uh, have uh, the old varieties, we can, um, there is already a technology for improving them, which is called top working. So you just need to cut back and then the new sprout uh, from the old variety can be grafted with uh, these superior ones. And within one to two years, um, that plant is already in production. So you don't have to start from um, establishment stage. You can just um, use your old trees and then with that technology they can be improved. And within a very short time, you are able to get this new bright burn and these other better varieties. The Madia Epo is very high. Because for example, when you are in the Nikuwa ni memuzia jana, so nukumpigia asubuhi akaniambia ni kama amemaliza na anataka zingine. From the market survey we carried out, uh, red varieties are more popular than the green ones. Uh, the other advantage with the uh, red varieties is that uh, they have higher 
level of vitamin A, uh, which uh, is very important for uh, young children and even adults in terms of um, improving the, the eyesight. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very important um, a vitamin for healthy growth. Uh, and uh, uh, that's why we would like to promote it. Because an apple a, a, a day will keep a, a doctor away. Uh, so that, that's, that's why we, we have gone. But that does not completely rule out the green types maybe uh, in future. Uh, for one acre, a farmer would plant uh, around 450 trees. Each tree has a potential of producing um, about uh, 200 fruits per season. Uh, so we are talking of, if we talk of two seasons, we are talking of 900 fruits from a single tree per year. Uh, if we calculate uh, with a, an estimate of 200 fruits per, per tree, then we are talking of uh, 90,000 fruits per season. Uh, if we sell at a very conservative price of 20 shillings, but I know they can um, cost more because they are bigger, then it means that farmer would make around 1.8 million per season. Uh, really make good uh, money out of um, apple production. Uh, the cost of production is not so high because after uh, establishment, this is an orchard that will be there for even 50 years. Apple is, a, is an ideal crop, it's a climate smart crop. Uh, the goodness with apple is that it is quite a drought tolerant. Uh, once it has established, it can do with minimal irrigation. Just the rainfall will sustain it. Uh, and it is not likely to fail to produce every season, even if there is um, uh, some level of drought. So it's a crop that can be adopted for, by farmers as we experience climate change. This is a crop that can do very well, even in areas where uh, rainfall has become uh, quite unreliable. Yeah, farmers can come to uh, farmers can come to Karo HRI. We have seedlings. We are selling at uh, 400 seedlings each, and they are available. And they will get all the require, required information on how to produce them, what to do, and they will get some um, hard out on. Uh, the, 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 the information on um, the requirement in the field. Apple production is a profitable venture.